Hello to my beautiful people. If you're not watching this from my website, make sure you head over to MeccaFreeman.com and please subscribe so you never miss an update on everything I have coming up. I'm so excited about this video because this video is about relationships. Relationship with yourself, with business partners, fans, family, relationships. This is about relationships. And so I wanted to make this video because I woke up this morning and I was talking to my boyfriend on the phone, but it dawned on me that since before I met him, our conversations with each other have changed is what I mean by that. When I first met my boyfriend, we um, just celebrated a two year anniversary in October of this year, of 2016. And when I met him and we were friends and we met each other, I realized something. Um, I really didn't love myself because at that time I was still an exotic dancer. I was destroying my body with alcohol, destroying my body with the bad foods and you know, dealing with certain men and getting played by people. You know you get played by people. I had fake friends in my life, people I believe were friends. Even though I knew they weren't good for me, I still stayed friends with them because I really didn't feel as if like, who else was gonna be my friend. And so a lot of us come to this point in life and most of the times, we don't know real from fake or we don't love ourselves. One reason is because we didn't get taught that when we were growing up. You know, I believe it's crucial for a, 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 a parent or parents in general to sit their child in front of the mirror and say, listen, look at yourself, accept who you are, accept the flaws. You are beautiful, you are great. No matter what challenges you get faced with in life, you will be able to handle that. No matter what obstacles, you're going to be able to step over that. No matter what happened to you, where you go, you're always going to be the light in the room. And most of us don't believe don't believe that because we never got taught that. That's not implanted in our mind. We don't. It's not a belief. So I want to talk about relationships because a lot of men don't have the woman that they desire and not, a lot of women don't have the man they desire. And you know, I, I was this person as well. I used to say, F these men or forget these people. I want to be single. Now, I'm not going to say it's nothing is wrong with being single or wanting to be single because I remember there was a time in my life when I began to start loving myself, but I wanted to be by myself. That's because I started to realize who I was and loving yourself. Everybody don't know how to do it. And it is a process and it doesn't happen overnight and that's why I came here to give you some tips today I wanted to speak to you now it's so crazy because back then I used to love to have people around me I always kept a flock of people around me even if they wasn't good for me because misery love company I was miserable in the inside and I didn't love myself you know when you love yourself when you enjoy your own company I go to the movies like every Tuesday or every Sunday by myself and people say why do you do that by yourself you know I I don't want nobody to go with me half the time. I go to the gym by myself. I work out by myself. Now, I'm not going to say that I want to be a loner for the rest of my life because I do enjoy other people's company. But I am so in love with myself that I love myself. Even if I masturbate, excuse me, kids. It, yeah, but when you get to a certain age, you will do this. When I masturbate, I make so much love to myself, it ain't funny. I go and have dinner by myself and be great. You know, I go and watch people by myself. You, you get to that point that's how you know when you actually love yourself and here's some some tools or some some keys how to start loving yourself go and do things by yourself and and before I started this journey before I actually loved myself I didn't know what I liked I went and start doing things and putting my hair a certain way and just going to join certain groups because I didn't know what I liked. once I figured out what I liked it was a joyous feeling to me. I felt good doing it. I didn't need nobody to be there with me. That's why the movies on Tuesday is a great thing for me. Um, and I do know like bowling is not something I could do by myself. You know, that's not my thing by myself. You know, by myself is going to the movies, but I know that's something that I like. So you have to figure out and start doing things and just figuring out do I like this? Do I not like this? Taking long walks by yourself. You have to get used to being by yourself. Getting up in the morning and literally having conversations with yourself. Like, hey Mecca, today is, you know, Sunday. And today 
We're gonna have a peaceful day. We're not gonna do any work today. We're gonna to take a walk. We're gonna take the dog out for a walk. We're gonna write in the journal, Mecca, and we're gonna have this dinner today, Mecca, and we're gonna do this in the gym today, Mecca. You know, actually as if you're talking to a friend. And the more you do that, the more you start to fall in love with yourself. Just like this, um, there's a saying that goes, how can you expect for someone to love you if you don't love yourself? And I was, I didn't get it until I got into the relationship with my man because Jeremy, my boyfriend, he will call me out on my stuff, you know? He will not allow me to just, he won't just let it go over my head or without bringing it to my attention. If it's something that he knows is wrong or something I need to pay attention to or that he feels, you know what, Mecca, you're ignoring this and you really need to face this, oh, he's gonna call me out on my stuff. And, but he knows that I love myself. I always try to improve myself no matter what it is and what area, relationships, business, money, finances, my health, my well-being, you know, people, family, relationships. And the thing is, when you call yourself out on these things and take it right now in every area of life, figure out what is it, because it's something that needs improving, that you can do yourself. You want to change everybody else in the world, most of the time, and that's what we do. We say, yeah, when this guy stopped doing like this or when that woman stops acting like this, our relationship will be better. No, you have to look at the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror. You wanna change the world? Start by changing yourself. You want somebody to love you? Start by loving yourself. Most people don't love you because don't, you don't love yourself. How can you expect someone to be on time for you when you're not on time for yourself? You get what I'm saying? So here's an example. They see you always late for work, or they see you always late to the other people party. You want them to be on time to your party? <laughs> Come on now, you're not even on time for yourself. So start by loving yourself and giving yourself self-love. Hug yourself, you know, actually kiss yourself, bathe yourself, feel on yourself, read to yourself, meditate by yourself. Do the things by yourself. And that way, you'll start having better relationships with people. People love people who love themselves. Just look at the people who feel so fulfilled when they walk down the street. It don't matter if it's rainy, it's snow, it's sunny outside, it's gray outside. They are like, hey, girls raining. Got my cute rain boots on, girls snowing. About to put my, um, get the shovel out, girl, make a snowman. You know, they just have this self-love about themselves and they make everybody that just want to be around them. Do that for yourself. And relationships around you will start to improve. Your life in general will start to improve. You know, you start getting people around you who have your interests because they see, hey, you actually is involved and you are actually investing into yourself. Invest into yourself and others will invest into you as well. And I hope that this video helped you. I hope you share it with somebody who you love because remember sharing is caring. The greatest thing we can give to somebody is something that will help them move forward. And here at MeccaFreeman.com, we always encourage you to become the best version of yourself. Until next time, guys, I love you. You subscribe, you like, and let me know what it is in the comments. Just comment below and tell me what it is that you will start loving yourself on more. And until next time, I love you guys. Mm, love yourself. Peace.